do good work. And then you press submit. It takes actually a bit of time. <laughs> You have some questions to ask, like, what in this paper is significant in you? You have to certify that this is your work and you haven't submitted it elsewhere. Uh, after that, you upload the files, you hit submit, and you're done. Hopefully you started with the style for file from the beginning, but it's not very hard to adapt an existing LaTeX document to use that style file. You'll get that all in order. You'll make sure you get the permission of all your co-authors, and then you'll proceed to the web form. So you fill out this form, several pages. You also agree to adhere to various science policies, like not plagiarizing, not submitting to multiple journals. Uh, you agree that all your co-authors have uh, agreed to the submission. And then eventually you upload your document, your submitted article, and then you press submit. After you submit the paper, the editor-in-chief assigns it to an associate editor. The associate editor is in charge of getting reviewers for the paper. That process ideally takes two to six months. Uh, once you get the reviews back, assuming that you haven't been instantly rejected, uh, you're asked to make revisions, you revise the paper, and the cycle begins again. Uh, most papers get closed out one way or the other inside of a year. Even though often the article will be aimed at specialists, it helps if you can explain, especially in the abstract and the introduction and the conclusions, the high level story so that even people who aren't experts in your precise field can understand what the paper is about and in fact hopefully that will inspire them to understand the more detailed parts in the middle of the paper. Do good work. Uh, there's no magic formula, there's no secret word. Uh, if the work is good, oh and send it to the right journal. Okay. So if you're, you've written a paper about partial differential equations, don't send it to a linear algebra journal. That's going nowhere. So. Think about where it's going. Look at the editorial board. Try to, if you can identify someone on the board that would be good at handling the paper, it's okay to tell us that. Very rare that we actually get suggestions for referees or editors. And the advantage for an author to, to making suggestions is that it actually really speeds up the process, both of assigning an editor and assigning referees. Some people think it might be improper to make these suggestions, but but as long as they understand that we might not adhere to those suggestions and that they shouldn't suggest people that would have a conflict of interest, so these would be uh, recent co-authors or your students or, or advisors, those people wouldn't be good um, referees or editors, but otherwise the suggestions are very helpful to the process. Some journals allow resubmission. You have to look at the editorial policy of rejected papers as long as you have answered all the comments that the referees have made. And then this process just repeats until either the paper is accepted or rejected. And, and then the paper goes to um, SIAM staff and they get it ready for production. There's some back and forth there and then it appears first electronically and then eventually in print.